Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we'll wirelessly transmit a message onto our LCD screen to let others know that if we're in a meeting, or more importantly, if we're hungry. Well, my name's Andrew, and let's jump into this. As we transition onto our wiring diagram, all we're really gonna need is a Raspberry Pi Pico W, some jumper wires, in this case, it's gonna be four male to female, finally a basic two by 16 LCD. Nothing fancy, but we're gonna make some magic. You're gonna be like, what? I could tell my mom or my wife that these burgers were super good. I know you guys could tell I'm like really hungry right now. Let's go ahead and look at the code. There's gonna be a few things we're gonna need as prerequisites. You're gonna need the secrets.python file. What this is, it's just essentially how you're gonna call your network name and your password. We could do that on the Wi-Fi LCD messaging, which is gonna be your main code. Then you're gonna need your LCD driver. For this tutorial, I'm going to include the links for the original Wi-Fi code and the LCD driver. But let's go ahead and close our secrets. We're going to close our LCD driver. Let me open up the original Wi-Fi that I shared because there's going to be a couple of things that I deleted altogether. Your HTML, you could really design this any way you want. This is getting passed to your browser. And these LED ons, we don't really need this anymore, but essentially LED on until here we're deleting and close this let's go ahead and take a look at our wi-fi lcd messaging python file real important go ahead and import your lcd driver we're gonna have to call on that lcd driver as well we're still on that page i'm gonna go ahead and open up chrome i'm just gonna open up incognito mode and let's go ahead and run this this is just gonna take a while to connect uh, so what it's doing is I'm going through my secrets file. I'm putting in my password, my network name. We can see that this took a little time to connect, but then we have my IP address. I wrote that down up here. For you, it might be different, but essentially you're gonna get your IP address out of here anyways. Let's go ahead and copy this and let's go ahead and paste it. Don't hit enter yet. Let's go ahead and scroll down where the code began and end. And here I'm just marking it start and end so that way we could clearly see hey this is all the code i'm putting in for now let's just type in you know whatever you want i'm going to put in rambo pi hit enter and let's go ahead and make this indicator a little bit bigger so it's a lot easier to see that's too big um, so that's great so i'm getting this url message that says rambo pi this is getting passed through and more importantly hey right over here I have exactly what I typed in. So let's go ahead and try one more example. And I'm gonna put in, I don't know, hamburger. And I misspelled it. All right, hamburger looks great. Even when I look at my LCD, it looks great. Now the challenge is gonna be, so if you notice I have this message clear, I need something in the browser to tell it, hey, how to clear something. Because what this is doing, if, I put in a smaller word, like let's just type in hi with two exclamation marks. Go ahead and hit enter. You know what? It, it looks great in my shell, looks great on my browser, but when I LCD, I could see hi, but then it says erger. So I just created a capability to clear what that LCD says. And this is really just this like hijacking, not really doing it the right way. Cause I don't, I could not find a way to really clear the LCD screen. So essentially I'm just saying, Hey, here's this white space. Let's go ahead and just enter this white space. So it's really showing you all this white space instead. And then, you know, this is my new parameter, new message. I didn't want to mess with the request. What I'm doing here, I'm taking a start word and an end word. So I already know that, you know, here is a clear, for example, so here's message. My end word is going to be HTTP forward slash one. And let me just back up just a little bit so we could see it. And what I'm saying is, okay, grab that first word. Anything after that first word, let's go ahead and retrieve. And then what I'm saying, whatever is that end word, grab whatever that, whatever's before that end word. And that's going to be my new message. So let's go ahead and type in, let's go ahead and type in welcome. And there we go, we have welcome. And when you look down at your LCD, we got welcome as well. 
of course we could have you know maybe message one that will be the top line message two will be the bottom line or we could add scrolling effects so there's a lot of there's really a lot of options we could do i'm just trying to keep this as short as possible but yeah i hope this really helped you and see the possibility and like you know what i'm gonna tell the rest of the house that i'm either full i'm hungry i'm busy whatever the case may be dog needs to be let in i can't do it right now because i'm in a meeting and i hope this really helped you guys out so my name's andrew if you have any questions drop it in the comments below and let's talk about it and i'll catch you guys at the next video